Okay, so now that we've done all that configuration, um, time to start up Media Portal. So the first time it starts up, it's going to be a little bit slow as it um, loads all the settings. Okay, so I've got it on a window mode. Um, so I'll just maximize it. So there you have it. This is this is the home page. So you can see all my videos, your music, that's the DVD, your pictures, your videos. And the reason I chose to put videos right at the top of the path is so that when we go in here, as you can see, we can I can choose um, a whole bunch of different um, folders to watch. Whereas in, I didn't need it pointing straight to the movies because I've got... Um, moving pictures that takes care of the movies and the TV series here for me. So just to test it out, what I'll do is I'll click on weather and um, there you have it, it's pulled down Brisbane. Don't worry about the slight delays because I'm running um, remotely so there's a little bit of a delay. So we can go through to the city I can change it. So they're the cities that I added before. I can go to Sydney, say. Sorry, let's just close that down. So, sorry, there you have it. That's Sydney weather. Today, Tuesday, 18th of October. So, you know, you can um, go down and go five-day forecast and it will basically bring you up uh, one day Tuesday that's today Wednesday Thursday Friday or Saturday or you can have the five day which is obviously the easiest so I'm just gonna go back change it back to Brisbane and for now there you have it. Um, we'll go back and there's a few little things we need to do to just tidy it all up a little bit and make it work um, a bit better. But for instance, I can go into my pictures and this is my um, picture portfolio, basically photos, sorry, not pictures. So I just go into one of them to show you. So, because it's laid out in the list view, if I select to the left there, you can change the layout. And um, you can go icons, big icons, cover flow. So, these photos are quite large. Let's, just as an example, let's just go film strip. So, what I'll do is, um, as you move the mouse over it, there you go. Okay, so there's... Um, Let's just go cover flow. So <clears throat> that's a obviously a panoramic that I've stitched together. If I select it, it'll just fill up the screen. So press escape to go back. And um, I can go through, and yeah, you can see these photos are quite large, they're 6, 10 megs each. You know. So, um, as you can see down here though, the CPU is getting used quite a lot because it's caching and it's opening all these pictures back there. And, and that's another reason why um, I like uh, the list, or the thing is you can leave it run and let it just and load up all the photos so that next time you come back it won't need them all so the other option is big icons same thing and yeah you can have your slides so so when you if you have holiday photos like these are for instance obviously um, you can have a slideshow so that's a reverse slideshow and you can 
friends come over, family come over, you can show off your holidays. So that's all well and good. Um, the videos, the movies, what I'll do is I'll um, go in here, just load it up just to see what it's done, just to give you an example. Um, so this is the moving pictures plugin that we were configuring before and <coughs> you can see this uh, this circle it's re rotating telling you that it's thinking and it's updating and it's downloading back information in the background and it's taking a little while because um, I haven't we didn't really give it a chance to do anything before but so that that's a quick preview um, you're almost there. What we'll do now is we're just going to go back and do a couple of little tidy ups um, and um, then we'll do a, a full um, proper media portal presentation. Okay.